So you think I'm just going to buy that you stop wearing women's clothes altogether? No, nope, because I didn't. Armin? What? After wearing Historia's clothes, I gotta admit, it's good. Alright, let's do this. Welcome, uh, game developers, to Doug Teaches UE4 Mini Tutorials. Yes. Okay, so, um, some context here, uh, cause, you know, I'll timestamp, um, and just go to the video description below, and, like, where the tutorial actually starts. Okay, so, some context here. Uh, I asked whether or not I should start with Attack on Titan or 40k uh, in multiple subreddits. Three people, uh, there were three people that actually commented. Two for Attack on Titan, one for 40k. So, we are going to do for uh, 40k, um, Attack on Titan cloning, um, seeing how Attack on Gossip is out as well. Like, this, this would be a good way to run this and Attack on Gossip in tandem. Um, because, yeah, I'm gonna use this as a cheap and flimsy way to advertise, like, you know, Attack on Gossip is a thing. Watch that animation, because it's fucking hilarious. Um, that said, <clears throat> also note that I will ask, please, 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 and I, I mean, yeah, because I had to write this shit down, please, 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 um, comment, subscribe, and share this video. That would help the company out immensely. Um, also, I think, if memory serves, uh, yeah! You won't see uh, the movie play again. So, yeah, if any of you are tired of seeing Happy Mammy's Magic Margarine, yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah, that said, we are going to clone Attack on Titan. Today we're going to be doing how to ODM gear, and we're going to be using this guy. Um, if you don't remember, this is a third person character that I basically replaced with the zombie dude. Um, uh, speaking of, let me get the. Where is. Because I have him in the third person template, because I use this guy for. Um, <laughs> that cyberpunk clone thing, so I'm just gonna change this material back. Lord knows I really want to do that. Uh, let's go to mesh, and there. Good god, I'm so sick of that fucking third person skeleton, uh, third person mannequin texture on that thing. So, let's, uh, anyway, let's get started. <clears throat> first things first, you go into the third person character, and, uh, with the, let's you, yeah, let's you let's with the capsule highlighted, not the mesh. Otherwise, it'll the capsule the the cable will be attached to the feet. So let's use the capsule component. Highlight the capsule component. Under add components, you want to type in cable. Where right, someone's coughing? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, if you want, you can give this thing a texture. I uh, I'm just I'll just give it that because fuck it. Looks like a flaccid penis. Uh, the the technical term is flaccid penis. That's how you're supposed to say it. Uh, anyway, so let's let's actually modify this something. Uh, so let's set the end location to zero. Oh yeah, that looks like a poop now. And stop, dude, will not stop coughing. No, you will not. And let's up the number of sides. I'll just I'll give him sixteen sides. So that way it looks kind of cylinderish. I think that's about it. Other than that, we toggle visibility, so that's all. That said, we're done with adding components. Now, what we want to do is... Do I have Q set to something? I think I have Q set to something in this. Oh, yeah, it's the Cyberpunk Quick Dash. Um, you know what? I'll still use it. I'll still use Q. Let's move this down. Actually, you know what? I'll leave this up here. You want to show them how to actually, you know, customize control sets? <sighs> I mean, I guess. You want to go to Edit, you want to go to Project Settings, and in Project Settings you can go to Input, uh, go to Action Mapping, and you can just add one, and you, you add it, you name this, ah, shit, you name this whatever you want, so I'll just say Base. I mean, I'm not going to use, I'm not going to use this at all. Um, and then under there, you can basically Highlight whichever uh, key you want, Z, X, uh, S, etc., etc., and then it's up to you. Anyway, but that's how you set controls in, in here. And then, like, in the third-person template, in the character that you want, you can just right-click and just type in face, and it'll, and it'll show up, like, pressed and released. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to hit Q. I'm going to right-click and hit Q. On Q, we press something. We're gonna do. We're gonna take this. And we're gonna do line trace by channel, and it's a beautiful little thing. 
Ah, line tracing. Yeah, line tracing is your is, is your best friend. <coughs> uh, that guy uh, was coughing. Uh, managed to make me cough. So we need to get the castle component, right? Mm -hmm. And then we need to get world location. Because it's going to be coming, because this, we're going to spawn this from the center, as you can see, because the center is here. Uh, we put that, we plug that into the start location. Then what we do is we take our follow camera, we get forward vector, and we multiply this by a float. But this, but this float is important. Uh, see, this float indicates the range, so you want to bump this up, so, like, I'm just going to use 5,000. So, like, if it's, because the end location, the, because this start and end location basically means, okay, if it's within 5,000 units, what will happen if I hit something? Uh, so then we have to add these two together. Plug this in, and then plug that into end. Now, from there, I'm going to break the hit result. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to hit location, uh, location and I'm going to promote this to a variable. I'm going to call this hit location. Now, we take this return value. If we hit something, right, we're going to branch this. Yeah. Why, was, why the hesitation? Uh, because if we wanted to do a blocking hit or something like that, um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Whatever we hit, we just if we hit anything, if we hit anything, then this, if we hit anything, we're gonna set, um, we're gonna make this, we're gonna make a new variable, and it's gonna be hooked. And we're gonna set this to true. Why? Uh, this will come into. I'll, I'll have to explain this later, but just follow along with me on this one. And then we want to set the impact, the location of the the hit location. We set this again. This will, will this will have to come into effect. Like I'll have to explain this later as well. But right now, what we want to do is once we hit something, we launch the character. We just launch the character upward. <clears throat> Let's say a hundred units. Well. You can tone this down on the Z. Yeah, you can tone this down. Why? The reason why you want to jump the character up is because if we hit something, right, and if it's on the ground, then it's just gonna, like, skid and won't work. So we want to launch the character up a bit. After that is said and done, we launch the character again. But this time, we're going to get... We're going to get the hit location and the capsule components world location. We're going to subtract these two. I always forget whether or not this is the hold on. I think it's this one. Yeah. Vector minus vector. Plug this in and then plug this in to launch velocity. I think that's this should be it. Let me let's let's test this. So nope. And uh, wait, no. Because we have to multiply by float two. Oh really? Yeah. But yeah, I get those two confused sometimes. So we multiply this. No, we multiply it by float. Let's multiply it by float. Why? Uh, no, not divide. God damn it! Multiply, float, <sighs> and I'll just say two point five. Like I'll explain this in a minute too. And I think this should work. This should work. There we go. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so. The impact point is what our hit location is going to be. We want to basically say, okay, since whatever we hit, right, we take that value, subtract it by, the, uh, by our particular world location, and then we multiply it um, by 2.5, and we set that as a launch velocity. Now, the 2.5 
if you set it to something like, uh, let's say, 10, you're going to be flying badly. You know what I mean? Ow, shit. Yeah. So you want to tone it down. If you want to say, if you want to like control it a little further, just say like 1.6, you'll be moving a lot slower. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. That's it. <clears throat> We're not done. Because we, while we got the, well, we got the meat and potatoes out of the way, we want to add some bells and whistles. And if you want, you can promote this to a variable. Um, because, in all honesty, I haven't set what hooked actually did, nor did I actually toggle the visibility of this thing. Oh, right. That's, that's true. Yeah. So, what we can do, if, uh, here's the bells and whistles part for this particular uh, bibbledy-boop. Bibbledy poop I don't fuck you. It's Friday, and it's like 8 in the fucking morning. Fuck off. Uh... Oh shit, am I, st I should still be recording, right? Oh god, because I don't know if the... I think I accidentally hit the tilde key. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna hit the tilde key again, and then, like, go from there. Alright, welcome back, everybody. Uh, <laughs> after I hit the <laughs> tilde key, um, like, I got a call from a fucking alarm clock, uh, from... Because I've been, uh, I started reaching out to potential marketers to help market the brand, and I got into that conversation for like an hour. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> was it like uh, more like thirty minutes? Anyway, so let's get started on getting the bells and whistles. Because if you notice, this thing is still invisible and it doesn't actually become visible. So let's do that here. You can, like, if you want, you can separate this out. To be like custom events, but I I, I don't I don't fuck, I don't want to fucking do that. So we're just gonna grab the cable. We're gonna set visibility, and we're gonna t check new visibility. So that way, uh, yeah. Um, uh, shit. So that way this the uh, so that way you can actually see the cable. But we also want to make sure. It's like here's what I mean. If we want to make sure that it's not doing anything, obviously. He's just standing there looking like a poop that just will not be left alone. <laughs> now it kind of looks like a dumbass tail. Um, so we want to make, we want to set the length and the position. We want to set the position of this thing to our hit location. To do that, we need to, we could just v interp and set the length based on the X's hit location, but it's, it's going to look kind of wonky. I'll show you what I mean. Um... Let's take this, if you just want to, um, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, break, vector, and we want to get this, and we want to uh, set length. If you want, you can just set, uh, set, wait, set, that ah, set line, set cable this length, set cable length, thank you, oh my god, uh, to the x of this vector, because we're going to be shooting forward as the board, uh, as x is forward. What I mean by that is, uh, um, we're going to be facing forward, so we basically do that on the x, or the y, I keep forgetting which, but either way, let's just try it out. Like I said, it looks wonky as shit. So we don't want to do that. What we can do is we need to add timeline and this timeline is going we're going to be using a uh, fuck you we're going to be using a float track um, to essentially set the length and then on finished we basically set reset this back to vis uh, invisible so let's go into here and let's set the length to be the, the length of the timeline to be like 0.5 and we want to use a float we want to use a float track Hold down shift, left click for uh, key one, left click again, shift for key, uh, left click, ah, left click again for key two. So, uh, so I'm just gonna set this at 0.5, and I'll set the value at something high like uh, 30. And then we take this, we set it to zero zero. And now I'm just going to view it horizontal and vertical. 
and I'm going to highlight these two by hold, by shift and clicking twice. And I'm going to hit the number one for a smoother transition. You can make it smoother if you want. I'm not going to. I'm just doing the bare bones minimum here. And we're done with that. So what we want to do is we want to do something called V interp to or vector interp to. So we get world location. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then we want to B interp to. Vector interp to. Our current will be the world location, unless I get this confused again, which I might just do that. Our hit location will be our target. And then our delta time. We, we could, you could set a variable for that, but you, you can just get world delta seconds. And our interp speed will be our float track because we want it to have a smooth transition. If you want, you could just hard code this to something like 15 or whatever. Um, it's it's going to be a hard transition. So it, it's going to be a real hard transition. You don't want that. You basically want to do a smoother transition, which is why we have the timeline. And then on cable, what we do after that is on update, we want to set world location to be our uh, in our update. And it will be this new return value from our V interp2. On finished, we control V, well, control W to uh, um, duplicate, and then we just set it, we set it visibility again. We just want it to be invisible, unless you don't want to. <coughs> so let's compile, and let's play, and let's, look at that. Um, it's not visible again. Well, yeah, it's not visible because this thing is only like half a second. You want it to, if you want it, um, you can make it like two seconds if you want, and let's just make it two seconds, but there, there'll be a problem to this. Speaking of, um, I keep forgetting, you, have to, you wanna alt click out of this and just play from start if you really wanna be on the safe side. So let's do that, let's do that. See? See? And now uh, two seconds, it'll, it'll do that. <coughs> so, we are done with this. Kind of. Why do you say kind of? See, there's a reason why I actually have hooked set to true. Now, if, you, if you're if wondering, yeah, Doug, what the fuck is up with this Boolean? Why do you have it to begin with? Um, okay, so, in Attack on Titan, we want to make sure that we can basically st uh, uh, stick to the wall. Now there's a way we can do that. Um, for example, um, on... But before I do that, let's make sure that the character actually rotates. I could do that in the event tick, though. Ah, fuck it, let's just do it here. Um, or should I? You know what? No, we'll do it in the tick. Fuck it, fuck it. Alright, I'm saying fuck it a lot. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Anyway, let's go to tick. And we're gonna have a sequence. <clears throat> We're gonna. Um, should I use the sequence now? Yeah, I'll use the sequence now. Why do we want to use the sequence now? Uh, in Attack on Titan, they're retro. Oh, okay. So, um, retro ODM gear, but we'll deal with that in a little bit. Anyway, so we want to get hooked, right? Uh huh. We want to We want to branch this out. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see if is hooked is equal to true. And the reason for that is because we want to get, yeah, let's do that. Let's take care of this now. Take care of what now? In Attack on Titan, right, um, we, you can, uh, how do I put this? You can, um, you, while you're, while you're going to the target, right, uh -huh. You can shift your weight left and right, so we want to basically be able to do that. As it stands, uh, we can't because when we're going to wherever it is, we're falling. We're technically falling. Oh, okay, yeah. So we want to make sure that while we're hooked onto some, while hooked is true, we can shift our weight forward, uh, not forward, not up or down, left or right. So we want to set movement mode. And we want to set it to flying, right, flying. So that way we can shift our weight left and right. Ow, ow, yeah. And we also want to use 
control rotation. Yaw! Because yaw is the Z, right? Oh, please say yaw is the Z. Yep, yaw is the Z. Yep, yaw is the Z. That's what I needed to make sure. Now, while that's said and done, let's go into our move right. And it's here. <sighs> Where's the marketing person helpful? Oh, yeah, I really want her to help me market the brand with some targeted ads. She taught me a lot. Um, anyway, first we want to see if is hook to set to true. If it's false, we do nothing. We basically do our usual walking input stuffs that wrote that, that adds movement input based on the rotation. However, if it's true, what we want to do, let's move this down, and you know what, I'll extend this a bit. It's Control W. We're going to duplicate that. We're going to take this, plug it, plug it into there. And we want to right click and type in get right vector. And see. Not rotation, damn it. Uh, right vector. <laughs> Shit, what the fuck was it called? It was a camera boom. Get after right vector, there you go. And we plug this into here. Now the scale value you're going to want to fuck with. Um, because as it stands, you can... You have to plug this in, but... You want to divide it by a number. Why? Um, I'll just, I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. Like, I'll just say point, I'll just say, yeah, let's just say two for now. Because as it stands, if we leave this as is, if you, like, I'll show what, I'll show off what I mean by that. If we, oh god, you're ready shipping. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Why are... Wait, how come we're not... Yeah. Anyway, uh, so you want to basically put this in here. <laughs> so that way you can appropriately shift your weight. What? What? Yeah, we're not done. We're nowhere near done. But it's adding the movement input like we wanted. See, the thing is, we're not... Because once... The reason why you're not moving after you collide with something is because we have no momentum. Like, whatsoever. And we're still flying. Ah. Yeah. Once you stop your momentum, you're not going to be able to shift your, your weight left and right anymore. And on top of that, we're nowhere near our hook location. So... Um, and that's and we're going to be taking care of that as well. Uh, in any case, let's make it so that way you constantly face the hook location's rotation. To do that, we want to get this, and we want to get. Should it be the mesh? Should it be the? I'll oh, use the capsule, fuck it, because the capsule rotates everything. Um, get world location, and then what we can do is uh, find look, find look at rotation, put that into the target, and then from there we set world rotation. Now this is going to be a hard teleport. Oh, it is. Yeah. We could use an R insert too, but I'm not going to. Like, if you want to do it, you can, but I'm not doing that shit. Anyway, see, we're, we're rotating based on that. There we go. Now, we're not done here, because we also have to say, if we are near the look at the hit rotation, if the hit rotation, if we're near the hit location, um, should I use just get actor rotation and then self, uh, location and self? Nah, this is good. Um, you can you like I was thinking of maybe I should do uh, get actor location and then put that in and then from there we can set actor rotation and the actor is going to be us. It's going to be uh, 
just self and we can just get rid of this and make sure self is in get actor location plug this in but the capsule component works just as well you don't technically you didn't need to follow this now oh, good job Doug I know right I'm an idiot but anyway there we go and it, it automatically I really gotta get away from this gun I'm tired of I'm, I'm tired of fucking like doing that anyway so now what we want to do is we want to make sure that is hooked <clears throat> is true right but we'll need an AND boolean. I'm gonna say AND boolean. Uh, Jesus, what the fuck was I? Oh yeah, get, we get the hit location. Why is my brain derping? It's Friday. That's gotta be why. We're gonna take this out. We're gonna say equal to, and it doesn't. We're not gonna use exactly vector. We're gonna use equal vector, and we want to basically. Uh, Copy this. You can you can get the capsule components world location and shit like that, but again, I'm just going to use uh, get actor location because fuck it. And the threshold, let's say, is like something like, I don't know, 200, right? And we plug that in. And then we plug this in, right? So we want to make the character basically stick, and we want to change the movement mode to falling. Um, and we want to change the movement mode to falling. So, uh... Um, let's do that. Why change the movement mode to falling? Um, okay, so if we're falling and we hit the ground, we basically go back to walking. Ah, yeah. So, that said, we want to basically um, sh 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 shit, 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 shit. Why is my brain derping out again? Um, Fucking, oh uh, god. Set actor location. And it's gonna be that. And it's going to be plus float. And let's just make this within that threshold 200. So that way we stick. Now I'm not gonna be using the A and D keys for this. I'm just gonna look. Ow! You're sticking. Yes. But now we want to set movement mode to falling. Uh, Lightfoot tax return. Good, good, congratulations. You really gotta do your taxes. Oh god, don't even remind me. Um, either way, let's plug this into here. Sorry about the brain derp. Oh my god, I am so fucking stupid today. And... Yeah. Now if we do this... Why is it rotating downward? If you want, you can basically... Uh, we can fix that later. But why are you sticking there? Oh, because, you know, it's running true. We didn't tell it to run false yet. Ow. So, um, and if you want, you could just do this instead. It's like, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this threshold. Oh god, yeah. That is because we need to, uh, well, actually, you know what, let's fix that. What happened? Oh, because we're, we clipped into the world geometry. Because it's a hit location, we're setting... This entire this entire actor is going inside the world geometry because we're setting it to be that location. Uh, if we wanted to, like, let's break the vector, right? Break vector, and let's split. We're gonna split this struct pin. I'm gonna look at this. So the y will set it. We'll set this to this this to this, but the Y we will set for, um, we're gonna add that, we're gonna add that threshold. So float plus float, two hundo, plug that in, compile, there we go, we're 200 units away. You can, yeah, like I said, if you wanna, you don't, 
you can, it's the threshold. You have to fuck with this number. You want to say, like, instead, let's just say, uh, 50, right? Or, yeah, let's say 200. But we're going to get, let's we'll just set it to, like, 50. Because you still might be X amount of units away. There, we're closer. But we're clipping into the geometry. Nothing you can do about that. Okay. So now, uh, on false for hooked, if at any time hooked is false, just set it to falling. Set the character movement to falling. And you know I might as well put this on top just to be on the safe side. Okay. Why? Because now we have to actually set hook to false. How do you do that? When Q is released, set it to false. And let's toggle the visibility again in here. Let's get that cable and that set visibility. Boom. And let's plug that in. Damn it, I said plug it in. So now, you see that? Um, what? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's my fault. Uh, let's get rid of this false. It's my own fault. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What happened? Um, let's get rid of this false, too. Because it's all, oh, no, yeah, let's, let's be being stupid. We don't technically need these. Because it's going to be set to falling after we let go of the fucking Q key, Doug, you stupid bastard. Jesus, I'm a fucking idiot. So if we let go, there we go. Pressed. We release. Oh god. Yeah. Again, you gotta fuck with this threshold. So let's say 75. Let's compile. And if we let go, there we go, we're falling. And air. Yeah. You have to fuck with this threshold. You have to fuck with this threshold, people. Anyway. Um, now, is there anything else that I wanted to add? Oh, yeah, we gotta do the retro one. Retro one? In Attack on Titan, if you... You can basically... Um... Because Levi actually shot his thing backward when Kenny... When Kenny's group was shooting at him. So, we gotta have, like, retro ODMs. How do you do that? Okay, so, I'm just gonna use the Z key. Come on, Z, Z, Z. There you is, there you is, or is you ain't my baby. So we're gonna take all this, this entire code, this entire pseudo code. We're gonna control W. We are. Mm -hmm. We're gonna plug this in, and and what? How the hell are we gonna? Because this is only gonna fire for it. Mm -hmm. So how are we gonna do this? We take this vector, we multiply by a float. You multiply it again? Yeah. By how much? Negative one. What? Yeah, seriously. Serious? Yeah. It's like the... Um... Uh... And let's control W here. So that way hooked is false, etc. Uh... Yeah. Because it's in the reverse direction. Remember, the camera... We're getting the forward vector of the camera, right? Everything in front. Uh -huh. But since we're multiplying this result by a negative... Oh, it's getting the reverse. Yeah. So, let's try that out. Z? Ooh. Again. Q. And Z. Oh, shit. Hmm. Okay. That looks like that didn't work. I thought it would. Okay. So how are we going to fix it? Simple. We, because uh, I got that mixed up earlier. All right, this, yeah. So we just take this, subtract it from that. And then, there we go. But... We take, and then we take this, multiply it by a float, and this will be our negative one. 
Here's where we will put our negative one. So that way our cable goes backwards. Negative one. Plug this into new location. Let's compile. Why are we still floating? Uh, wait, that's actually, actually a good question. Oh, right. Oh, right, right, right. Because this is actually running false. This is actually running false. So, so we can't necessarily say, or else we'll have that other error. So, best way to fix that is on released. Just set its character movement mode to falling. And boom. So now, and we're falling. Oh, cool. Yeah. So that's fixed. Mm hmm. Ah, those retro rockets. I gotta try to fix that. Mmm. Maybe the interp speed. Multiply that by a negative? Maybe that can work. Maybe that's the thing. Because we want to reverse it. This. Let's delete this. Let's plug this in. You should have tested this out. Well, yeah, it's just on me. But. Uh, Hmm. Let's just plug this in. Let's do that. Well, you know what? Let's fix, because there's something else we got to fix. We want to make sure that you can only fire one and the other, not both. Otherwise, the physics is going to get all types of fucked up. So, that said, we're just going to set a thing saying, can retro fire? And we're just going to say, can forward fire? Oh, right, because if you hit Q and Z... What the hell happens if you hit Q and Z? Uh, you, like, I don't know. Like, I'm, uh, like the retro stuff I haven't actually tested. Like, this I have. Like, the going forward bit, that I have tested. Not the retro one. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and find out. So, essentially, first we have to see if this can actually... If this is actually true. So, like, when we compile, we have to actually set this to true. And, oh my god, this is looking like the ugliest, fucking, messiest blueprint ever. But then again, what the hell? All that shit's been in here since, like, the cyberpunk days. And if it's true, uh, can retro fire, we have to set this to false. And put this out, put this out. Oh god, this is ugly. Yeah, it is. This is really fucking ugly. Ugh! I really gotta, I gotta clean this up a bit. There we go. On released, we want to say can retro fire is equal to true. So let's plug this into that. Wait, what? Ah, shit! Oh, I still want to say hope this falls too. So let's set this to true. Up and up and let's move that down. Can forward fire equals. No, I, I, I thought I said can retro fire. I want to set can retro fire to false. Because we don't want both going at the same time. So in here. Oh my god. Are you going to timestamp um, the cleanup bit? No. Really? No, I'm not going to do that. I already had to break this up into two parts because I thought I had the tilde key, and then I did, and then I fucking got into that conversation with that marketing type person. I still really want to. I really want to have, like, help with that person. Anyway, so, get can retro fire, branch it out, make sure it's true, and on true, can forward fire has to be false. So, can forward fire, set that to false, move this in, and then over here, we set can forward fire equal to true, because the key was released. Now! Alright. Compile. Let's play. Good. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. You forgot to set them to true. <laughs> yeah. Because by default, you didn't fucking. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm 
so stupid. Oh my god. Okay, so let's do that. All right, cool. Let's do that. All right, cool. We got it. We got it working. So shift. Shifting weight. You really gotta do something about that geometry clip. Again, it's the whatchamacallit. Yeah. It's the threshold. Because, like, the thing is, we're forcing ourselves to be inside that. And you gotta... If you don't fuck with the threshold, you, you're... If you don't fuck with that threshold bit, like, here... Or let's say, like, just... Alright, fine, I'll just do 200. But the problem with that is, you're gonna be, like... Like, there. You're outside of the thing. Mm. Or is it? No, it's not at... Oh, no, it isn't. Um... Because that's positive and not negative. Just adding 200 doesn't actually add towards the direction of shit. Hmm. So I only tested it on one side, not the other. Huh, I'm stupid. Yes, you are. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Can't we say zero on the Y? No. Why? Here's why. Because we're setting the actor location, and it'll go back to zero. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So, hmm. shit. So what do you want to do? I'll probably have an update for this next week. Oh, really? Yeah. Otherwise, like, if we plug this in to the Y, like, it's just gonna, it's bad, because it's gonna stick, because you're gonna, you, oh. Okay. I'm, I'm in the false. Because you'd be clipping into the world geometry. Like, I'll have to figure that out. Well, at least you can shift your weight? Yeah, you're shifting your weight. If you want to shift your weight harder, like I said, you have to go and fuck with this number. Because you're only moving at half speed. So if you were to, like, put the scale value all the way up to 1, you're really turning. As you can see there. You know what I mean? You're really starting to turn. And you don't want to do that. So, it's best to just turn at half speed. If you want to turn slower, just fuck with this number, something fears. But... Hmm. As far as you are concerned... Uh, we could sweep the hit result. Does this thing actually... Because you have to... Well, let's set it so that way it does generate hit events and overlap events. A mesh? Yeah. What about the capsule component? Can you... Let's simulate uh, hit events as well. Uh, we don't want it to clip in. We could break this hit result. Hmm. If it is a blocking hit. Or... Let's get the hit location. Well, get the hit location. Let me see if I can yeah, hit location. I break that vector. And I this doesn't take into account the negative. Hmm. 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 You got a pause the video? Um. Well, not really, because, like I said, the main idea has been accomplished. You can basically zip around, etc., etc. The problem is, yeah, but uh, it clips into the world geometry. Yeah. Yeah, you clip into the world geometry. Wanna do something cool? What do you mean? What the fuck? Wow, okay. That happened.
That was weird. Huh. Oh, right. Yeah, because it doesn't know what to do. Like, it's, it's, it's the character. Actually, you know what? Let's do something fun with that. Let's get the hit actor, right? Uh-huh. Cast a random dooter. That's random dooter. Uh, let's move this out. Let's move this here. Let's move this. Plug this into you. If we cast to that... Uh, on cast failed. Let's move this. Plug this into true. Uh-huh. Let's move this out. Why? Um, because it's something cool. On cast failed, set hook to true. However, if we did get that person, let's launch character, and the launch velocity will be our follow camera's forward vector multiply by negative one. And then what we do is, should we copy this timeline? Yeah, let's copy this fucking timeline. And let's, yeah, let's copy this entire timeline. Well, you know what? We don't even need to do that. I can just plug this in here. Yeah. Let's do something. Let's do this. What, what are you doing? Wait, did I hit the character? Or am I... Ow! Let's see if I'm hitting the character. Uh... Da -da 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 -da. Let's just print a string. Let's see if I'm actually hitting the character. I am not. I am not hitting the character. Huh. That's weird. Hmm. I'm not hitting random duder. Why am I not hitting random duder? Oh, it's not running? No, it isn't. Hmm. 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 It's not hitting the random duder? Really? That is random duder, right? It's gotta be random duder. Yeah, it is random duder. Huh. Now, I really wanted to show something cool. Try to compensate, but it's not hitting the character. The actor. Hmm. So, it's not hitting. Maybe you're just not hitting the character or anything like that. Maybe. Let's do... Let's do persistent. Gotta see if I'm hitting it. Wait a second, I think... Wait. Tilted down, huh? I just realized that. Those are some serious glitches. Yeah. Well, then again, I never really bothered to, you know. Is the line trace even going? Yeah, it's going. Hmm. Oh well. Hitting the the duder. Huh. I wonder why. 
I guess that'll uh, happen uh, next week, I guess. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, because um, I'll do some more bells and whistles and updates for this uh, next week. See if I can try to uh, figure out some of these uh, some of these glitches that I just came across. To be fair, like this, this hasn't been um, done in third person because all the yeah all of them are in first person. Yeah, so um, uh, this is the first time. Like uh, this is this is all in third person. So and um, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just end it here, because the main uh, idea has been done. End it here, narrator. And there you have it, game developers. Tune in next time for What Are You Going To Do With The Bells And Whistles? Oh, this next week is going to be the Thunder Spear, and I might as well just show off how to do that. And then we'll actually, after that, we'll attack the actual Titan Titan, which means we have to attack it uh, and hit the nape of the neck or whatever the fuck. Um, yeah. So end it here. And there you have it, game developers. Tune in next time for Doug Teaches Mini Tutorials. Yes. You sure you're gonna do this? Um, you sure you don't wanna... Yeah, I'm gonna try to do this on my own time, because, like, I don't know why it's not hitting random duder. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure this out on my own. I'll see you guys later.